Hello, I'm Steve Youngstrom, and I want to offer you a free book for a limited time only. It's about some end time visions that the Lord has given me, and He inspired me to write a book, so I did. I'm going to talk a little bit about the book later on, but like I said, this is about a free copy. All you have to do is email me at steveyoungstrom at yahoo.com, and I'll send you a copy. This is for a limited time only. I'm going to read a couple of the visions out of the book in a, in a second, but I kind of wanted to explain to you some about the book. It's inspirational. The visions are positive. It's about this last day, end time move of God. It's not about me. It's not about the book. It's about the content. The Lord impressed upon me not to interpret them. It's left up to the individual reader so that you can just get inspired by them. It's, it's just an inspirational tool to see into the spiritual realm and to get you closer to God by reading more of the Bible. So here we go. Here's a couple visions out of it. And this is last day, end time move of God vision. I saw Jesus standing with his hands out in front of him, holding a heart. He looked down on it and said, It is good ground. Suddenly a vine root grew from his hands, wrapped around the heart and branches, sprouted and took up roots in the heart. Green leaves that looked like the Bible came to life. Jesus spoke and a mist of water, blood, oil and fire came over his hands and the heart. The leaves became covered in shimmering oil and brilliantly on fire in the sun. I saw Jesus, I saw a great field ahead. Suddenly it was filled with clay vessels with spouts on them. The tops were open on the vessels. Then it began to rain fire, water, and oil down on top of the clay vessels. They were filled up. Not one drop of rain touched the outside of the clay pot. The rain did not fall on the ground either. It too remained dry. I saw the people of God washing the blood of the Lamb covered in brilliant white robes as pure as snow. They picked up the clay vessels and began to walk out in the field and they were transported to the place where they were supposed to be. It was pitch, pitch black and dark beneath their feet. They poured out the rain of blood, water, and oil onto their hands. It only covered their hands and not one drop was spilled onto the ground. Then they reached down in the darkness below. They, began, they were pulling people out. The people were covered under the blood of the Lamb, covered in a brilliant white robe, and added to the people of God. They're just, you know, there's over a hundred pages of inspirational visions that I've had that the Lord has given me. Like I said, it's just a means to get you closer to closer to your walk with God. The title of the book is pretty positive too. It's called Visions and Writings of Promise, Hope, and a Future for America. I'm not ready to give over America to the enemy yet. I'm not ready to surrender. This is a last day end time move of God. It's a grace dispensation. And I can, I'm going to tell you how it's a grace dispensation, just one example of it. If you study on the internet and you look up last day visions, end time visions, um, end of the world, any of those, you're going to come up with a lot of visions that people are having. And I'm not saying they're not true or not going to come to pass. But the ones that the Lord has given me are about positive end time revival that's going to come forth. When you study and look up, like I said, on the internet those, what you're going to find is visions about wars, earthquakes, tsunamis, nuclear attacks on New York, uh, just all kinds of catastrophic events that are, you know, that are facing the world. I get it. I understand. You know, we 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 live in what seems like perilous times, but it's actually a grace dispensation, a great time of revival for God. Some of them could come to pass. I'll give you an example of one of them that already came to pass. One of them is economic collapse that people are talking about. Well, this country is already economically collapsed. It's $20 trillion in the hole in debt. Congress right now has spent, has, has passed a bill to, to just try to be a stopgap for 30 days because they don't know how to pay for the government. You know, several years ago, when they couldn't come to a consensus on it, what happened? The government shut down for four or five weeks. They furloughed what they called unnecessary people. Unnecessary people, you know, some of those people, you know, we couldn't pay our bills. There's no talk about it, how to pay it back. None of that. It's just when they come to another bill, it's how to, how to increase our ceiling deficit to borrow more money so that we can pay our bills. Horrible way to, horrible way to run a country. If you or I, that'd be like me or you. 
having a, fi a five hundred thousand dollar credit card bill and a hundred thousand dollar a year job. And then when your credit runs out, you increase your credit limit, and you go to the bank and say, "Well, I can't pay my bills unless you extend me more of the credit." What are they going to do? They ain't going to help you. We're this country is by the grace of God is still held up. That's why we're in a grace dispensation. But it's for an end time revival and a move of God for us as Christians to reach people in this lost and dying world. It's just an awesome time. That's what I'd rather be about the business that about God's business and Jesus' business when he comes than anything else. Like I said, these visions and writings are spiritual and getting you to look into the spiritual realm and get your own revelation of them, put it into practice, you know, pray about it, ask God for what he thinks about them, study on the Bible. I put scriptures with each and every one of them. It's just, a, like I said, it's a tool to get you closer to God, study more of the Bible, and you get a free copy for a limited time only. All you have to do is email me at steveyoungstrom at yahoo.com. Once again, the title of the book is called Visions and Writings of Promise, Hope, and a Future for America. It's available on Amazon, and like I said, you can get a free copy. Thanks for listening to this. This is Steve Youngstrom with Touch of the Master's Hand, Holy Spirit Ministries. If you, if you like this book after you get it, just leave a review on, on my YouTube channel. Facebook, whatever social media you want. That's all I ask. Thank you. Once again, God bless you.